What a truly beautiful day, friends and families, ladies and gentlemen. Look, you can see the wind. You can see the gush of the wind through the leaves intermingling and dancing in the wave of the color of lights and the colors of the wind. What a beautiful mushroomy morning here in magnificent, beautiful Guyana. A happy mushroomy to one and all. I'm not one who will celebrate in in revelry, but I'm one who will celebrate in my heart, who will pray for my country. I'm one who will wish for love and joy to perpetuate amongst the peoples of this country, for love and joy to prosper for all the peoples of the nation of this great and glorious land of Guyana, bequeathed by God and the father of the nation, Dr. Cherry Jacob. Friends and family, your brother, me, Haji Dr. Ocean Care, in the raw. In the raw. Say thank you, my dearest, beloved, divine friends, for tuning in and uh, listening to me this mushroom on in Friday, February 23rd. And I wish to read and possibly make some comments on the words of our dynamic, zealous, zealous, a zealot of one Guyana philosophy and principles of the land of Guyana, Excellency President Dr. Irfanali. So I am, I would like to read that article taken from this newspaper of his uh, delicious words of harmony, peace, national security and uh, sovereignty. Strangely, I am now seeing, I used the word zealous just now, I gave you an idea of the word zealous, zealot, that we must powerfully, dynamically guard our sovereignty, promote democracy, President Ali. We must zealously, I didn't see it yet, guard our sovereignty, promote democracy, President Dr. Fanali says, Guyana is seeking friendly nation relations with neighbors wants peace and stability. The language of power, beauty, and elegance in the country of our beloved Guyana. President Dr. Fanali has reaffirmed Guyana's commitment to defending its sovereignty and territorial integrity integrity while at the same time forging friendly relations with its neighbors to ensure peace and stability in the region. These were the sentiments of the head of state on Thursday evening during his address to the nation at the flag raising ceremony to commemorate Guyana's 54th Republic anniversary. So friends and family, happy, joyous, peaceful, Loving 54th, but please, protect your country, protect your land, enjoy, do not over-revel, and do not consume alcohol and drive. As a matter of fact, don't consume alcohol at all, if possible. According to the President, while Guyana declared itself as a republic on February 23rd, 1970, it effectively severed the constitutional attachments to the United Kingdom, from which it attained independence in 1966. This republican status, he noted, vested in the people of Guyana full sovereignty over the entirety of the country, as well as the political, social, and economic process within. Well, these are some of the works that were done under Lyndon Forbes, Samson Burnham, the then Prime Minister, who got it into power through mingling and manipulation by the CIA and the British imperialist masters to deny then Premier Dr. Teddy Jagan from taking independence. But 
they destabilized his government. Anyhow, I move on. Those who do not know, so now you must know. The government of Dr. Chedi Jagan as premier, the first premier of Guyana, he was destabilized by international forces of the United Kingdom and the United States. And that is a fact of life. That is a fact of history. All the papers, all the files have been declassified. So we can see them as a public. We, the custodians of the Republic, must zealously guard our nation's sovereignty, that is, protect our borders, our nation, that we must be one. We, our country, must be in its totality. Promote its development and safeguard democracy. Now, this government is truly a government of democracy. We have seen my former friend, Hamilton Green, and Norton, and all of them, and the previous APNO government, who tried to steal a nation, who tried to steal an entire election, so that they will get well-nourished, ladies and gentlemen. But this government is working for all Guyanese to bask in the beauty of the true democracy in the nation, led by Excellency President Dr. Irfan Ali and Dr. Barrett Jackdale, General Secretary of the People's Progressive Party and Vice President. A threat to our ter territorial integrity poses a direct challenge to our sovereignty because it stakes a claim upon the settled geographical boundaries that divide that the Our investment is to ensure peace and stability is the foundation through which neighboring love is built. This is a true president of peace. This is a true go government and a true country of peace, Maduro. And you're the only one in the whole of South America who is dissatisfied, bitter, who imprisons its opposition, who do things to prevent them from running for election, that you have become a pariah of evil in the nation. What a disgrace you have become, unfortunately. What a shame you are to your predecessor, the man who took a truck driver and put him in a position of authority and of power, who made a grave mistake. President Ali's statement come on the heels of heightened tensions between Guyana and Venezuela. The Spanish-speaking country continues to lay claim to more than two-thirds of Guyana's landmass. This equivalent a portion of its exclusive economic zone in which almost 11 billion barrels of oil have been discovered over the past eight years and in which oil production activities are ongoing. In 2018, Guyana moved to the International Court of Justice, he said, after exhausting all means of ex negotiating with Venezuela, including the good office process. But through the United Nations, between the two South American neighbors, Guyana is seeking a final and binding ruling on the October 3rd, 18, 1899 arbitral award to settle the long-standing border controversy. Now, a little bit of reality. 1899, they settled it. But it was already established and known, those markings. We had some extra pieces, extra parts, including, including a major river basin there, which went to them, which we lost, and which they have acquired through this process that was signed in 1899. But they had stamps before 1899 that showed their territory exactly as it is, and showed Guyana exactly as it is, with a part of theirs belonging to us. We have stamps, I have stamps, and I have a coin showing 1816. During King George IV, I think, when the, the, it was the United Colonies of the Esequibo, and Demarari, not Demarari, you know, Borbis was not included as yet. And the, it already were established between the British and the English before the final 
arbitral award in 1899 for those don't who, know, who may not know. Venezuela had challenged the move to settle the matter, but the ICJ ruled in December 2020 that it has jurisdiction to detain the application for a final settlement, having rejected both Venezuela's preliminary objections. The ICJ has set April 8, 2024 as the time limit for filing of a con counter mem memorandum or memorial by Venezuela after abusing and showing disrespect for the court, international court. Tensions between Guyana and Venezuela have been simmering since then, but escalated late last year when the Nicolas Maduro government held a referendum on December 3rd, 2023, to annex the Guyana's Exequibo, in other words, to steal the Exequibo, and to turn our citizens into their, into their residence. What a bullyism, but the aim, ladies and gentlemen, the aim was to plea, try to impress the people so that they would vote for him in the next election. He lost the referendum, so to say, because out of 20 million people, only two plus million voted. And when he got, he, he, he got the mass of that, but only two million, 20 million plus did not vote. And so right after that, he went ahead to have the powerful opposition leader and leaders and supporters arrested and imprisoned. What is this happening in South America? What, is, what are we going to do? What is this country going to do? What is this um, freedom for democracy going to do? Tensions between Guyana and Venezuela have been simmering since then, but escalated late last year when the Nicolas Maduro government held a referendum. Well, I doubt about that. Following the referendum, President Maru, Maduro uh, uh, subsequently announced a series of actions, including, among other things, issuing identification cards to Guyanese living in Essequibo and issuing licenses for mining and other activities in Guyana's Essequibo territory. But that was obviously all bluff. Um, he could not have done it. Um, and uh, he continued to imprison his opposition leaders of class and quality in the country. Given Venezuela's uh, threat, threatening posture, a historic face-to-face -face CARICOM, the CELAC, the Brazil brokered meeting, was held on November 14, 2023, between President Ali and Maduro in St. Vincent and the Grenadines, and was geared towards maintaining peace in the region. But I can't help the photograph, ladies and gentlemen, when our president shook his hand and looked at his face as a master to a little boy who could not have looked at the face of our president and, was, and had his face that way. He couldn't face our president, Dr. Irfan Ali, the president of the Cooperative Republic of Guyana. The two South American leaders came to several agreements, including that Guyana and Venezuela directly or indirectly would not threaten you to use force against one another in the circumstances, including those uh, consequential to any